Dare I say might be one of my favorite shower gels that Lush has ever done. Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So today I want to sit down and do kind of like a top 10 current favorites of Lush right now. All these products are out and available in stores now. I know I've done some top 10 lists before, but a lot of those products were limited edition or you know they don't sell them anymore, which is really sad. So I wanted to do an updated list with a bunch of my new favorites and some good old classics. So let's hop into it. Okay, first up is a huge, huge hit because for the longest time, I was just never really 100% sold on any of the Lush hair conditioners. And I guess my favorite one, just for the scent, was American Cream. But in terms of the effect and how it made my hair feel, it was, I don't know, I could take it or leave it. Um, I wasn't super, super crazy about it. And I like normally very moisturizing and very heavy conditioners. So I've just always dreamed of a delicious moisturizing hair conditioner from Lush. And finally, all of my prayers have been answered and that's with Candy Rain. This is the new conditioner from Lush. First off, this smells so incredibly delicious. Like I don't even know how to explain it. It's kind of like a coconut, sweet, sugary dessert. It is so, so good. I'm actually gonna open this one up. This is a fresh new one. I have one in my shower right now, but I figured you guys didn't wanna see my actually like used products because my bottle of conditioner that's currently in the shower is, it just, it looks disgusting. I don't know how I get the bottles and everything so gross, but there's like hair on it and like the labels coming off and I've just made a mess of it. So this one is a pretty brand new one um, for you guys on camera, but this smells so, so unreal. It basically smells like a really rich coffee and super, super creamy and sweet though. So it's almost like if you were to order the most delicious and rich latte, that's what this kind of smells like. It is just so, so decadent and the fragrance stays on your hair. I swear for like two days after you wash it, it smells so, so good. So yeah, I absolutely love this. And the way that it makes my hair feel is so ridiculously good. It's so softening and so hydrating. There's a ton of Brazil nuts inside, which is really good because they're nice and fatty and um, they keep your hair looking really glossy and shiny and I can just not say enough good things about Candy Rain. I think that this is the best conditioner that Lush has ever made. It is so, so incredible. Um, I don't even know. I feel like everyone would like this. Unless you have very, very fine hair and you don't like super moisturizing products because you find your hair gets greasy, maybe then I would say don't use it. Or I guess if you hate the smell, then I would say don't use it because the smell does stay. But if you like the smell and you like a moisturizing hair conditioner, this one is such a winner. It is so good. Okay, next up, I have a super OG Lush product, and any like OG Lushies out there will know when I say this. This is Lemony Flutter. This is their cuticle butter, and it rhymes every time I say it. I can't help it. Lemony Flutter, the cuticle butter. Uh, anyways, this is such a classic Lush product. I'm pretty sure this is one of like their longtime bestsellers because it's just so, so good. Basically, it's a really rich kind of cream. I guess cream isn't even the right word. It definitely is like a thick, like, butter it's like a whip texture and it's so so protective and it just feels so good on the skin so basically what i like to use this for i mean obviously like the name suggests it's for the cuticles but really for any dry area on your skin so i mean i like to put up like on my little little cuticles and kind of massage it in there but i also get really dry like elbows and especially in winter time y'all know i live in canada and winter can just get Winter can just get a little aggressive up here and it chaps your skin really bad. So this is so good on like the heels of your feet or anything like that. It really is just such an effective product and the smell of it. The smell of it is very lemony and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of reminds me, <laughs> this is a very specific childhood memory, but when I was younger, my parents would like give us chores around the house um, like once a week or whatever. And my chore was to always dust the house. And <laughs> there's like this, you know, pledge, which is kind of like, I don't know, like a furniture polisher, like to dust. I don't, I don't really know. Anyways, it was this lemon scented pledge that we would always have in our house. And it smells exactly like that just because it's such a lemony scent. So that just takes me back to my childhood. I mean, the smell doesn't particularly bother me. It's just a very, very lemony smell, but I swear it smells like pledge. Truly, it takes me back to like being in the living room and like polishing the coffee table. Anyways, enough of my childhood. There are a ton of really rich butters inside of here. So there's avocado oil, coconut oil. I think there's also like castor oil, shea butter. Basically any rich oil that you've ever seen in a body cream or like a balm ever is inside of this. So it's really good, especially if you suffer with really dry skin. Um, something that I've been doing with this lately, which is kind of how I like fell back in love with this product. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I've been doing a half marathon. I just finished it. And so I've been running a lot more. And my feet, my feet are in like a very bad state right now. If you are a runner, you will understand. Uh, I just have like, blisters and calluses and my feet are just 
so gross and dry and just not good so what i do actually at night i'll kind of like smother my feet in this and then i'll put socks on and then go to bed and that way when i wake up the next morning my feet are just a lot more hydrated and looking a bit better as best as they can look considering their condition um but yeah no lemony flutter is amazing definitely an essential um for winter time for me i find that's when i use it a lot more and now my camera is flashing that it's dying i just charged it what is happening my camera doesn't want me to do a lush video okay next up this is kind of tied to the lemony flutter because i've been using this a lot more i mean in the winter time but also because i've been working out a lot more and this is magic oh, jesus the lemony flutter has my hands nice and balmy i have no grip anymore that was a crazy throw um, Magic Crystals, it is this amazing body scrub, but there's a ton of peppermint and spearmint oil inside. And again, I got a nice and fresh one here for you because mine that's in the shower right now is actually like almost empty. So I need to replace it with this soon. So Magic Crystals originally came out last year as a limited edition, limited edition. That is a word that I always like mumble, limited edition. Um, a limited, a limited, oh God, a limited edition Halloween product um, last year. And I fell in love with it. I used it a ton, but I tried to not get too attached because I didn't think it would be coming back. But they've actually made it a permanent item in the shop now. So you can get it all year round and it's so good. So I would highly recommend you check it out, especially if you like scrubs. Um, this one's kind of different though because it does kind of leave your skin with almost like a cooling feeling. I think, is there menthol inside as well? Yeah, there's menthol crystals inside. So those are kind of like, you know if you've ever used like Vicks Vapor Rub before when you're sick and you kind of like breathe in and it kind of tingles in a cool way. Anyways, this feels so good on your body. It leaves your muscles feeling like really kind of soothed and it just kind of helps calm me down after like a busy day and it's just really refreshing on the skin. And then of course, on top of that, there's a ton of salt inside. So you actually have like the physical exfoliation of like the grainy bits inside. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It's super tingly and refreshing. And um, I think it's super great, especially again for winter time when you kind of just want to like, you know, improve the whole body circulation and keep your skin feeling super soft. So love this one. I probably use this. I would say maybe two to three times a week in the shower. It's definitely not something I use every day, um, unless, you know, I'm really feeling sore and really feel like I need some extra love. Um, but a couple times a week, this is definitely um, a staple in my shower routine. Okay, this might be just as much of a classic as Lemony Flutter. Um, this one here is a massage bar. I'm gonna pause and see if any OG Lushies can guess what this is. I think this is the oldest massage bar that they have still in their collection. Could be wrong, don't quote me on that. Correct me if I am wrong. Um, anyways, any guesses? Anyone? Comment down below. Pause the video, comment down below. If you get this right, you get a gold star. I will reply and give you a gold star personally. Oh, it's been in frame the whole time. That That's gonna give it away. Anyways, it is the Therapy Massage Bar, and this is just such a classic. I've recently fallen back in love with this product. You guys know I'm a huge fan of massage bars in general, and whenever I talk about them on camera, I always go, oh, it's melting in my hand right now, but it is melting in my hand right now. Um, these basically are activated by the warmth of your hands, and they kind of release these beautiful oils and butters inside, and you can immediately massage them onto your skin, um, or use them as kind of like a solid body lotion, which is really great because, you know, it is 2019, we're trying to reduce our packaging, and um, using naked products like this that have no packaging, um, you know, the more the better. Why have a body lotion container if you don't need it? Anyways, this is a really beautiful product. There are a ton of cocoa butter inside. There's a bit of lavender as well, but the scent is actually very mild. It's not overwhelming. And, and this is definitely one of those products that since Lush is so fragrant, like the store in general, when you go inside, always when I'm in the store and I pick this up to smell it, I can't smell anything because everything else smells so strong. But definitely it's one of those products when you take it home, you kind of go, oh, okay, now I can smell it. Um, there definitely is a bit of like that, you know, lavender, calming, soothing kind of scent to it. But I mean, overall, it is a very mild product. Um, okay, this one has to go down because it's going to turn into a pile of oil in a second. Ooh, I'm feeling so moisturized now. Um, anyways, I know a lot of people love to use Therapy Massage Bar, um, not only all over the skin as a body moisturizer, but also a lot of people say that it really helps with stretch marks. Now, I haven't personally really had any experience with that, but I know a lot of people love it for that. But someone once told me that that product is really popular with a lot of pregnant women, um, you know, like while well, dealing with stretch marks on their stomach, and the soothing lavender scent is really calming to help de-stress as well. So definitely a good gift to give, um, whether you know someone pregnant or just someone who wants to kind of, you know, stay hydrated in the winter and uh, calm down a little bit. So definitely a product that I would recommend and if you have not tried massage bars from Lush in general they are a product you should definitely check out um, they all are kind of the same ish more or less in theory just different fragrances and different scents so kind of go in there smell around see what you like 
Ah, alas, my camera battery has died. I've reset it up. I don't know where I was in the middle of my sentence. Long story short, therapy is a really great massage bar. Definitely worth checking out. Boom, let's move on. Okay, next up, this is more of a category favorite in general from Lush, and I actually, I don't really know if I ever have fully expressed my love slash the essential role this product plays in my life, and that is shower gels from Lush. I am just so obsessed with them. I think I have probably used a Lush shower gel every single day, I would say for the past four years. Bold statement, I know, but I think it's true. I'm just so obsessed with their shower gels. They have so many incredible um, variations of them with so many different fragrances. Some that are a bit more moisturizing, some that are a bit more cleansing, some that are a bit more fragrance. There's really something for everyone and I literally use one every single day when I'm in the shower. And I just always have to have one of their shower gels in my house at any given time. This is a huge size of the bottle. This is the liter size, which is more of a new I guess maybe it's not super new at Lush, but over the past like year or so, they've rolled up like the giant sizes of the product. But back in the day, they used to never have these, but I'm glad that they have them now because you can just get more and more shower gel. So if you're a crazy fanatic like me, you're always stocked up. So I have a few other ones here that I wanna show you, but this one, which is Happy Hippie, this is more of like the citrusy kind of grapefruit one. It's really refreshing. It's definitely a very uplifting smell and it just kind of makes you feel awake and brightened and Mm, it's just like a good, clean, citrusy smell. Love it. And I actually have a liter of this because I use it as the hand soap in all of my bathrooms and all my sinks in my house. And I am just so in love with the fragrance. I've been trying to be really conscious lately of not buying like throwaway plastic hand soap dispensers. Like, you know, the ones from like Bath and Body Works or whatever. Anyway, so I have like a reusable, like nice hand soap dispenser thing at each of my sinks. And I fill it up with Happy Hippie. So that is the scent. If you've ever come to my house, these are in all of my... um hand soap pumps so really great I love that one but the other shower gels that I like to use more for my body and more when I'm in the shower oh this one's so good I just mmm the fact that I have the liter size of this is also very telling of my obsession with like the Christmas fragrances from Lush and this is Yognog the shower gel now Yognog is a fan favorite scent that comes out each year at Christmas time at Lush but it is limited edition so you can only get it this time of year um, and this just smells like the most decadent caramel toffee creme brulee oh uh, it's the most indulgent shower gel and i definitely can't use this one every day it is a very sweet and pampering kind of smell but i like to have this in my shower i actually have like the mini um like the little i think it's 100 milliliter like the little travel size one i did that one first to kind of try it out and then i was like okay yeah no i'm obsessed i think i'm ready for the liter it is truly the most perfect smell for fall and winter and really if you just want to feel like you want to cozy up and be you know drizzled with caramel all over your body this is the one and then just because i got a few new fresh ones of these in the mail i thought i would show them on camera because they're so pretty uh this is lord of misrule this one is another limited edition shower gel and this dare i say might be one of my favorite shower gels that lush has ever done so i was super excited to see that they brought it back out um also it's just the most epic green slime kind of color it is so good this is more i would say of like, whoa jeez i have butter fingers today from that lemony flutter Note to self, show Lemony Flutter at the end of the video so your hands aren't covered in it. This is really just a live demo of Lemony Flutter and how moisturizing it is because it's really adding some slip to my hands. Uh, anyways, Lord of Misrule, it's kind of like a sweet and salty shower gel if that makes any sense. Um, it has very earthy notes of like patchouli inside and black pepper, but there are sweet notes inside like vanilla or is it tonka? Could be vanilla, could be tonka. No, it's vanilla inside. Um, vanilla inside, so that adds like a bit of like coziness and warmth that keeps it smelling really delicious. So it's just a really nice blend. It's not too sweet, it's not too earthy, it's just like the perfect balance. This one also has some seaweed extract inside, so it's very softening on the skin, so I like it, especially for the winter time when we all could use a little more moisture on our skin. And this one here is again another classic. This is American Cream. I think I've gone through maybe two or three bottles of this. I was obsessed with this all of summer. This is what I was using every single day. This is more of like a fruity, fruity vanilla kind of scent. So it's totally preference, whatever you like the smell of, but the shower gels in general are just so amazingly delicious and I cannot live without them. So shower gels in general, big favorite. Okay, next up here, this is, mm, I was hesitating including this because I know this is like a very limited edition product and it's kind of like the same scent family that I've already been talking about before, but this is the Yognog body conditioner and this one here is the giant tub of it. 
again already went through a small size of it so was ready to commit to a new and fresh um, 450 gram pot of this so a body conditioner from lush if you don't know is basically something that you want to use in the shower after you've cleansed your skin so say after you did a shower gel which conveniently you could pair with the same scent family and use the Yogg shower gel then you would want to go in with the body conditioner and that's going to be kind of like a moisturizer that you use in the shower so I kind of always explain it like you know how you shampoo your hair first and then you use a hair conditioner it's kind of like the same idea with your body so you would use your soap first or your shower gel like a shampoo and then you would go in with the body conditioner after just to add moisture and if you do it correctly you shouldn't need to apply any body lotion when you get out of the shower because your skin will have like almost like a little layer of like an oil and it'll be nice and supple and moisturized so it's definitely good if you're someone that doesn't want to like hop out of the shower and be standing there like naked and cold and like waiting for your body lotion to dry um you just hop out of the shower pat down and you're like good to go and get dressed um so yeah this is absolutely amazing and this is a product that is very scent specific because if you don't want to smell like a super sweet caramel toffee candy then you're not going to want to use this but if you want to smell just like the most delicious thing on this earth then use it. That being said though, if you aren't a crazy fan of this fragrance in particular, Lush does other body conditioners. Um, they have Rose Argan, which is like a classic, which I love as well. But you know, this time of year, you gotta get a few seasonal Lush products. So Yognog was definitely that for me. I remember falling in love with Yognog. It was the first year, must have been in like 2013, 2014 can't remember the exact year, but um, they came out with the Yognog soap and I bought so much of it. It was actually insane. And I'm pretty sure I used it for like a year and a half after that, like straight because I was so obsessed. Wait, there's maple syrup in this? Maple syrup water. Maybe that's why I love it so much. Oh my God, yes. Yo, this smells like a straight up tub of fresh Canadian maple syrup. This is why I love it so much, okay. Now you guys know from my what I eat in a days, I put maple syrup in my coffee. I just love anything flavored with maple syrup. Maybe it's just the Canadian in me. I'm not sure. I'm obsessed with maple syrup. So that makes sense. I didn't realize it was maple syrup in this. Whoa. Wait, does all the Yogginog products have that inside? Let me read the shower gel. Oh yeah, maple syrup water. It's like the second ingredient. Whoa, how did I never know that? And it also just explains the scent so much better. I mean, it still is very caramelly and very toffee-like, but maple syrup is the scent. Stunning news, stunning news. This is an exciting day, we're learning together. Um, okay, moving on, I have a shampoo here, and this one actually is a gift for someone, so, I mean, mom, if you're watching this, this is a gift, so. <laughs> Love you, surprise. Anyways, I've been using Daddy-O shampoo probably for the past, like, three-ish months um, myself, and I've been loving it. I love the way it makes my hair a bit more toned. I love the way it smells and feels in my hair. I've been a huge fan of Lush shampoos, and I've used a variety of them, um, with Big probably being my like all-time, all-time favorite. But lately, I've been finding that my hair's needs have been changing a bit. Now, I'm sure you can tell it is a purple shampoo, and if you don't know, purple shampoos are great for people who are blonde, or who you know have gray hair that want to keep it nice and cool and it really just helps prevent any brassy tones in your hair so for example if you were like me and back in 2013 when blonde ombres were all the rage and everyone had an ombre and I did a DIY at home ombre with boxed hair bleach bad call bad call just in general and basically everyone and every like tumblr girl had this brassy orange bad ombre hair you know, that version of me could have really used a shampoo like this. This basically prevents that orange brassy tone. And typically, I mean, I would say for the most part, most blonde haired people want it to be a bit more cool tone. At least that's the trend right now. So purple shampoo really helps prevent that and it helps naturally tone it. Basically the science behind it is that it's literally just like the color wheel and how that works. And if you look at a color wheel, purple and yellow are complementary colors. They're opposites on the color wheel. Um, so that means they're gonna help neutralize each other. So. Purple shampoo, blonde hair, cooler toned, more neutralized hair. Great science lesson slash art lesson slash TED talk. Thank you for coming. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. The reason that I like it is I got a balayage in my hair like a year ago, actually. I was a lot more blonde, I would say, towards like the first three to six months of it. Um, but I still have like lighter, I would say like lighter brown. I wouldn't even say it's blonde, but I don't know if you can really tell right now. Um, but anyways, I did have lighter blonde pieces, and especially in the summer, I feel like that was really accentuated. So I found just using a purple shampoo kind of helped keep it in check and kept it nice and neutralized. And yeah, it's not necessarily the shampoo that I would use every time I would wash my hair. 
but again I would say every like two to three hair washes I would use the purple shampoo it has a really lovely and light smell there's lime inside there's violet so it's kind of like a floral fresh moment anyways really good if you are a blonde would definitely recommend you checking this out Ooh, I have a few bubble bars and bath bombs here, but I'm gonna save those for last actually. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is a perfume. Now I've been a huge fan of Lush perfumes for a really long time, and this one is a new addition to my perfume collection, and I have just been so, so obsessed with it. And I feel like it is perfect for this time of the year when it's cold in winter, and we just want like warmth and to feel comforted and cozy. And this one here is cardamom coffee, and it smells so, so good. So I smelled it at the store, Maybe, you know what it was? It was the day that I did the Lush Shop With Me video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above. But I went into the Queen Street shop here in Toronto and um, the amazing staff there was helping me pick different perfumes. And I couldn't like really figure out which one I liked. And then, you know what a perfume you put on your skin and then you go home and it smells a little different on your skin? I love the way that this smelt with like my skin. That sounds really weird. I like the way that it smelt when it was worn on me. Um, and I'm just, I became obsessed with it. So I was like, you know what? I need to have this. The way that I would describe this is kind of like a spicy, cozy smell. There is like a cocoa, kind of chocolatey smell inside. So it still feels very rich. And it's definitely, definitely not a summer scent or spring scent at all. Like I would really only wear it this time of year. But it just smells, it smells like heavy and chocolatey and, but spicy too, because there is that cardamom kind of like clove scent inside as well. Um, so yeah, it's really delicious. If you kind of want like to smell like a spicy hot chocolate, this is the move. Love it. It's so good. Oh, one thing that I did want to say though, because you know, I'm always looking out for you guys. If you have this perfume, do not spray it if you are wearing white clothes. Now this is, mm, I don't know if maybe this is just like a batch defect or you know, it's just like the way it is. But I mean, obviously this perfume is a bit darker in color. And like I actually sprayed it earlier today on this white sweater and it kind of like left a little like yellow brownish spray mark like you actually you can't even really see it anymore maybe a little bit it's like a very like light off colored kind of like stain I'm sure it's gonna wash out but I would just be aware I would spray this directly on your skin and then get dressed after again don't know if that's just like a me problem or if that's like a thing with this perfume but it smells so good it's worth it just spray it on like your naked body Okay, moving on to some bath products. I have a bubble bar here and I have a few bath bombs next. And I just feel like bath bombs and bath products are really just like the bread and butter of Lush. Like I can't go in there and not pick up a bath product. They're just, they're so good. And they're also just so cute. And like, you just want one, you just do. Anyways, this one here, mm, it's just very restorative, I guess I would say. This is the French Kiss Bubble Bar. And this is such an oldie but a goodie, but this is like the most dreamy, creamy, luxurious bubble bath. It foams up into like the biggest bubbles, like Hollywood style movie bubbles. And the way that you wanna use this is to run it under crumbling water and the water pressure and just kind of like all of that will like make these big, huge bubbles. And this is just so delicious. It's a very soothing scent. There's a ton of lavender inside. This is like the ultimate, like you need to de-stress and unwind and calm down. Here, use this bath kind of thing. The lavender essential oil is very like aromatherapeutic and then as well as like a very softening bubble bar as well. So I love this one. I think it pairs really great with a ton of other bath bombs as well. So this is like my go-to, again, especially when it's like a cold winter day. This French Kiss Bubble Bar is just like the perfect combination to kind of calm you down and just to really get you in a restful slumber state of mind. Um, I do feel like I have better sleeps after I use this bubble bar. So love this one. I think it's so good. Uh, would highly recommend. Okay, now for this final category, I kind of cheated. I picked two because I wanted to pick like two different kinds for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, this one here is called the Little Bottle of Calm and I have used this so many times this year. So I had to include it in this video. And I thought, again, it paired really good with the French Kiss Bubble Bar that I just talked about. So, you know, I had to throw this one in there. So the little bottle of Calm is just this tiny little teensy little bath bomb. And again, tons and tons of lavender inside. So this one will kind of fizzle away in your bath bomb and make the water really soft as well. So this one paired with the bubble bar is amazing. Again, if you just need like a little moment of like a break in your life, you put it in the water very calm instantly uh, so i love this one i've been using it a ton i also like it because it's a very like non-fussy bath bomb like i feel like i'm either in two moods when i use a bath bomb i either want something that's very experiential and changes the colors and it's beautiful and like all of that or i want something that is like not a mess to clean up that is just very simple it doesn't add too much junk in my water like 
it's very one way or the other with me so when i want a very simple no mess bath bomb this is the one that i go for i think it's so so good now on the contrary of that this bath bomb is much more of like a showstopper and very much so a bath bomb that you like enjoy the visuals of and this one here is the lord of misrule bath bomb now if you've watched any of my videos before you will know that i have probably talked about this every single year in my seasonal lush hauls because this is my favorite seasonal bath bomb maybe of all time this and cinders are like a close call but this is that amazing kind of sweet and salty blend that i was talking about the patchouli and the black pepper and the vanilla it's just it's so so good i just think the smell is so delicious and every year i smell it again i'm like oh it got better better than i remembered anyways the reason i love this bath bomb is because it looks like a green and like ghoulish kind of bath bomb but when you put it in the water there's actually this amazing burgundy core and the bath bomb in the bath water just transforms into this amazing deep red wine kind of color and it just feels like you're bathing in a giant pool of red wine or blood red wine sounds more luxurious let's go with that anyways this bath bomb is so incredible if you are looking for a seasonal bath bomb that you can only get this time of year definitely worth checking out you know there's just there's a reason that this comes back every single year and every year that it's back it flies off the shelf and i feel like it's never not that it's never in stock but it's always like running low in stock when i go into the stores um it really just is a great bath bomb and i feel like everyone loves it so if you haven't tried it definitely worth giving it a try because it really just has become a staple christmas lush product okay so those are all the products that i want to talk about today let me know if you have any thoughts if you agree with me if you disagree with me if you think i should have added something else to this list but these are all the products as of lately that i've been loving from lush if you guys do want to see like a full kind of christmas lush haul let me know i definitely could do that um but yeah these are the products i've been using and loving and i'm just so so excited about and like i said none of these are not available right now i mean i guess it depends when you're watching this video but if you're watching this close to the date that it was posted everything is available in store and you guys can't yell at me and say jacqueline that product's discontinued they don't make it anymore or jacqueline it's limited edition stop talking about products that we can't buy i get it i hear you i'm here for you and you can buy all these Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. It helps me know if you like this video and if you want to see more. Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you later. Bye!